Hello folks, this is Dr. Magal here. Uh, again, this tutorial is related to lab one and it, it actually serves as a pre-lab. Um, the lab one is basically built and simulate the logic circuits. Uh, we learned about Tinkercad. Now we are going to learn about another uh, digital uh, circuits logic simulator, which we call it Logisim. Uh, so if you look at the part two of lab one, it's basically based on logism. There are some Boolean expressions here. Uh, you have to verify the logics for these um, for these uh, expressions. And also, uh, you have to basically build a circuit, analyze it, verify the logic, and record the values by filling this table below this. Um, so I'm ba basically going to uh, run through this circuit here. Uh, I'll try to build it using Logisim, uh, and I'll uh, show you uh, how you can build and analyze and uh, you know get the values for the outputs D, E, F, and Q, and you can put those values in here in this table by changing the uh, by trying the different combinations for uh, three inputs. Uh, so this is a three input A, B, C, three bits. So you have uh, two to the power three H. So you have it goes from zero to seven. Um, so let's try. Uh, let's try that. Uh, we need an end gate, um, NOR gate, two NOR gate, one NAND, and one uh, inverter. So this is where largest image should be on your desktop. Uh, if you click here, you, here you see all the gates. Um, we need a NOT gate. We need uh, an end gate. We need a NOR, two NOR gates. Uh, what else we need? Uh, end gate and a NAND gate. We need a NAND gate as well. Okay. Uh, all the gates have two inputs. So if you click on the gate, uh, it should allow you to change the number of gates, uh, number of inputs. So all the gates have two inputs. So go here change the number of inputs from five to two. Similarly here, I'm gonna change the number of inputs from five to two and also over here, change the inputs from five to two here. Okay, uh, we have three inputs. So those inputs will be A, uh, B, and C. Uh, I'm gonna use this text box here to label these inputs. Um, you can also change the font size here, make it bold if you like, A. Uh, and using this, you can move it around. So this is your A. Uh, similarly, you can copy paste it and change the text from A to B. And I'm gonna copy paste one more time. So this saves us a little time. And I'm gonna say this is C. All right, let's look at the circuit diagram here. You have B and C going into an end gate. B and C going into the end gate. You click on these bubbles right here and you connect those bubbles with the bubble, okay? So B and C are connected to the end You have B and A, inverted B and A going into a NAND gate. So let's see, inverted B. Inverted B and A going into NAND gate. There you go. All right. Uh, you have uh, A and the output E going into a NOR gate. There you go. Simply just, uh, you know, 
select the point, drag it, and then connect. It's very simple. Uh, and then you have the NOR gate, the output D and output F. These are going into another NOR gate. So this is that NOR gate right here. Here we go. And then similarly, I do the same thing here. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to label the outputs D, E, and F. I can just copy from here. This is D. This is E. And this is F right here. And I'm going to need one more, which will be Q. Q here. OK, so make sure this resembles the circuit that we have in the lab. You have A and E going into NOR gate, A and E going into NOR gate. We have B and C going into end gate. B and C going into end gate. We have the inverted B and A going into a NAND gate. We have the inverted B and A going into a NAND gate. We have the NAND gate and the NOR gate going into another NOR gate. The NAND gate, NOR gate going into another NOR gate, which is Q, this is D, E, and F. Okay. We need an output, so I'm going to, this is the add pin. This is going to be the output here. You can also choose uh, LED as an output. So here are all your, all your output. LED, if you want to choose LED, you can, hand, you can have LED here, and then basically connect it to like this. Um, since we have to find out the voltages, uh, sorry, uh, the outputs at D, E, and F, so we need uh, the pins at D, up pins at D, E, and F as well. So let's have one here, one over here, and one over here. Here and I'm going to connect E with this, D with this, and F with this. Okay, all right. Uh, looks like uh, the circuit is almost ready. Once it's ready, you want to save it, go ahead and save it. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just save it on desktop for now. This is lab one, part two. Save it, give it a sim. Uh, simulation is already enabled. Enable, uh, you go and click here to change the values. Okay, if both, if all inputs A, B are zero, then D is one, E is zero, F is one, and Q is zero. If I change B to one, and C to one, and A to one, I get E1, F1, D0, and Q0. If I have A1, B0, and C1, then D is 0, E is 0, F is 0, and Q is 1, and LED lights up. Okay. Uh, similarly, you're going to have to do uh, the same thing for over here. So you have A plus 0 equals to a we know plus is a a plus zero is a is a boolean expression that we use for an or gate where a is an input that could be zero or one uh, so how would you make something like this uh, a plus zero equals a so um, I'll create an input and I'll say this is a uh, 
right here. Okay, this is A. And then I create another pin, which is zero. And plus represents the OR logic, so we need an OR gate. So I go here under gates and I look for OR gate. Here's the OR gate. Uh, we need number of inputs to be two. So let's make it two. Zero goes to this and one goes to this and then we need a uh, the add pin this is this will show us the output okay which is also basically a 24 okay uh, you can move it around if you want to now we are going to verify the logic so I'm going to click this uh, to change the values. So we know from the Boolean algebra rules and regulations a plus zero is equals to a So if a is zero a is zero if I have one then it changes to one so a plus zero equals to a when we had a equals to one A equals to one a plus one a plus uh, zero gave us a one plus zero gave us one so we just proved the relationship um, for this expression similarly you have to do it uh, for a plus one equals to one uh, this is a plus a bar so this is the inverted a um, this is inverted a again uh, let me do it again uh, let me do it one more for this one number eight a dot a bar this is dot this boolean expression is basically for the end gate so how would you make something like this first of all we need the end gate we need to change the inputs to two okay we need an input that we call a and i'll just again give it a variable name a okay uh, let's change the font size. Let's drag it right next to this. Okay. So we are doing this a dot a bar. We need an inverter as well. So this goes into this. Sorry, I need to delete this. This goes here. Let me, let me delete this and look for the not gate, just right here. And this is connected to this bubble right here. Okay. And I need the output, which will be over here. Okay. So this is uh, a bar. So again, I need to change the font size here. And then move it right here. Okay. So a dot a bar, a end gate, which is the dot a bar is equals to zero. Okay, it doesn't matter what is the value of a, it is always going to be zero, that means. So let me see that. When a was zero, it gave us zero. When a is one, it also gave us zero. So a dot a bar is going to be zero, and hence we prove that. Similarly, you have to do it for all of this, okay? Um, any question ask it's a very user friendly software uh, it's very easy to use just drag the components gates from here into your workspace double click change the number of inputs uh, here's your inputs here here are the outputs here you see the logics their output here as well LEDs 
there are a bunch of stuff that you could do with uh, with Logisim. But for what we want to do for lab one, this is enough for you to know. Uh, later in the semester, uh, I might introduce more features that comes with this program. Um, thanks again for watching. Again, if you have any question, ask. Thank you. For